This is Dr. Chitrani and I would like to introduce my latest review article on nuclear targeting of gold nanoparticles for improved cancer therapeutics. Nanomedicine is an extensively growing uh, field and gold nanoparticles are being used as uh, radiation dose enhancers and as drug carriers in cancer therapy. In this review article, we will explore how we can uh, further improve the existing cancer therapeutics by targeting these gold nanoparticles into the nucleus. There are two approaches uh, if we were to target these nanoparticles into the nucleus. In the first approach, we will escape this endolysopath uh, by directly injecting these nanoparticles uh, into the, the nucleus. In the second approach, what we do is the we will have a cocktail of peptides on the surface of the gold nanoparticles and uh, use the regular endolysopath uh, to transfer these nanoparticles into the cells. The reason is one peptide will allow us to uh, escape uh, these nanoparticles into the cytoplasma. The other peptide will allow us to uh, transfer these nanoparticles into the nucleus through these nuclear pores. In this slide, it clearly shows nanoparticles are targeted into the nucleus. These bright dots are nanoparticles and you see the, uh, you see the reflectance of these nanoparticles. In this case, nanoparticles are not targeted into the nucleus. As you can see in this graph, uh, you can increase the cell depth by a factor of 3 by targeting these nanoparticles and also you can see you can you can see the enhanced DNA double strand break, breaks in cells. A recent Monte Carlo study has shown that when in the presence of the nanoparticles we can see more free radicals form closer to the uh, closer to the nucleus. If we, so that will enhance the uh, the DNA double strand breaks and it will result in a higher cell death. Now the question is how can we transfer this technology into in vivo studies? So far the studies were related to monolayer at monolayer level. Our recent study showed that we can effectively transport these nanoparticles through uh, tumor tissues. I'm positive that we can transfer this nuclear targeting technology into uh, future in vivo applications. Finally, I would like to thank my group for their support uh, in my research work and I would like to thank you all for listening to my podcast.